These days, ChatGPT is all over the place. Everyone's talking about it and everyone's using it. But if there's one group of people that are using it way more than anyone else, it's students. A recent study has shown that 89% of students have admitted to using ChatGPT in their classes. And most teachers are freaking out about this. They're begging to find ways to prevent what they call to be AI plagiarism. But in the meantime, some other teachers are embracing it, such as this teacher, which I found on TikTok. Let me show you. I'm gonna try with my AP literature classes. They're gonna be reading a novel in January and I'm gonna have them use the AI bot to formulate the beginning of it. So basically the teacher is letting the students use ChatGPT to write the first part of their essays and then they'll need to improve on it. They'll submit both versions and they will be graded on how well they were able to improve on the AI work. Just like they would if this was a normal professional work situation. While I think it's very admirable to prepare students for the future where AI is just going to be everywhere, unfortunately, I don't think this is going to work in the long term. Let me explain why using chess as an example. For most of history, chess has always been played between two people. Then computers started playing chess as well, but nobody took them seriously because they were terrible at the game. But they got better and better until 1997, where one computer beat the world champion of chess. And ever since, no human being has been able to beat the best computer at chess ever again. While this was a little bit depressing for humanity as a whole, Garry Kasparov, the world chess champion himself, came out of this with a very positive take. In his now very popular TED talk, he explains how maybe we can't beat computers at chess anymore, but a human being teaming up with a computer is still better than the computer itself. And this was super hopeful and it made everyone feel so much better about themselves. However, this is not even the case anymore. Today, AI has made computers so good at chess that even if we take the best player in the world and we team him up with the computers, he's still going to do worse than if we just let the computer do the chess on its own. And I think this is kind of where we're going with ChatGPT as well. Today, ChatGPT is far from perfect. In fact, it makes a lot of mistakes as people love to point out. But this won't be the case forever. What you need to understand is that this is version 1.0 of the technology. This is like the old blocky computer from 20 years ago version of it. And my question is, what is the iPhone 14 version of that that we're going to get in 20 years going to look like? My guess, it's going to look a lot like chess, where a human being using it is going to be worse than if we just let the AI do the work on its own. And this is why, while I think it's very admirable to let students use AI in their class to prepare them for the future, this is only going to work for the short period of time where AI is still making mistakes. But that's not going to be the case forever. At some point, AI is going to get better than the best of us and we'll just need to deal with that. Back when computers were not so good at chess, people used to enjoy using them while playing for reference. But this is no longer the case anymore. Today, computers are completely banned from human competition. If you know, you know. Don't get me wrong, people still enjoy watching computers play against each other, but today there's a clear distinction between computer chess and human chess. I think we need to bring that distinction into every other aspect of society that is going to get disrupted by AI. For instance, earlier last year, someone won an art competition using AI-generated art for the first time in history and people were very pissed about that. Even more recently, a bunch of artists revolted about random people posting AI-generated art on their portfolio website. And you know what? I side with the artists on this. Some of them will say that AI art is not very good, but I think at some point it's going to get so good that it's just going to be unfair to compare AI art with human art. We'll need to make a distinction between these two. And the same goes for school. I think it's a great idea to prepare students for a future where AI will just be everywhere, but I think we should do so in a few classes where people are learning skills for their future job. And in the other classes where you're just developing your inner abilities, I think we should totally ban AI. Computers did not kill chess. In fact, chess today is bigger than it's ever been in history. Even if computers play mostly perfect games against each other, people still prefer to watch two human beings play against each other. And that's because we like chess for the human aspect of it. We'll always prefer to watch two people play against each other and make a bunch of mistakes 
rather than two computers playing nearly perfect games against each other. And I think it's going to be the same with every other aspect of society that will get disrupted by AI, whether it is art, music, or English. At some point, AI will get better than the best of us at those things, but then I still think that we will prefer human art, human music, and human writing over the generated one because we enjoy the process and the challenge of it more so than the final result itself. At some point in our future, AI will get better than the best of us and we'll just need to deal with it just like the chess people had to do 20 years ago.